Is this thing on? <laughs> Hi, uh, Aaron Phelps. Cowtown Twister. Balloon Twister. Balloon Decorator. CBA. Um, I have uh, organized my basement to its utmost that it's ever been. So I wanted to show you, um, I think it was Scotty Kazan was asking. Anyway, let me turn this around. And uh, can't tell if it's recording. Oh yeah, it is. There's been 30 seconds already, right? You're getting sick of it. Okay, so as we walk in, I'll start you on the left and I'll go left to right. Okay, so here's my deli ticket machine. Uh, I use these tickets. Stuff them in there. It broke. I gotta fix it somehow. Get something right there. Um, it didn't break by falling. I just threw it in my van wrong and broke it off I think um, I have it so it attaches right there to a pole I ended up cutting it off for some reason I have to reattach it anyway that's a great thing to have I use it at the end of a gig I don't use it for the whole gig but I use it at the end of the gig if you use it for the whole gig sometimes people complain if you don't go exactly by the rules written on the sign and I like to sort of bend the rules a little bit here and there so but it's essential for ending a, a gig especially a public event private event little party maybe not so important okay let's start this shelf here top to bottom we'll go top shelf left um things for making menus clip art i use cold laminate which i have down in here uh, I get this at Office Max. This is cold laminate. Every so often, Office Max says buy one, get one half. Or is it buy one, get one free? I can't remember. But I wait for that sale. And I buy up pretty much all they have. Well, last time I did. Anyway, that's where I keep. They're in all stages there. Uh... I don't have my balloon kit, or I show you one other ones that are already made. This is a balloon sizer. I do decor, make arches, and um, columns, stuff like that. You gotta have a balloon sizer. It's in this bag. I got this from Brody's, I think. So just look for balloon sizer if you're into making that. See that little that little box right there? That's basically what you're looking at. Okay, it unfolds in a really cool way. Up here, um, lots of magazines mostly. Other, some balloon documents and uh, notes I took when I was studying for the CBA and stuff like that. It was mostly uh, pictures, or I should say magazines, balloon magic and images. Back here I got some high float. If you don't know what that's for, uh, you can Preserve your helium balloons and stuff. Make them float a little bit longer. Last a little bit longer. You can also use it to make around Halloween these spider balloons. I've got a water bottle up there. Okay, use those. Check out Ken Stillman's uh, awesome flower twisting balloon bouquet. Okay, scraps. Mylar. Mylar is foil balloons. I don't really do too many of those, but I've got lots of lots of them available. This is a water, a base for uh, if you want to make an indoor, whatever, maybe an outdoor. I haven't used it yet. I bought one just because I was curious. They're not too expensive. If I don't want to go back to a gig, I want to make them an arch or a uh, column, then I'll use that water weight and just leave it there. Let them get rid of it. Um, the rest of the stuff on here, these two things are for making centerpieces. Poles, you know, they'll stand on them. Real heavy in the decor. I use this and my, um, this is part of my leaf blower, which I use to blow up the climbing balloons, which I keep over here somewhere. Anyway, also I make pinatas. I use things for pinatas. 
I've done it twice, okay, in 10 years. Uh, including candy, you can get candy in there. You gotta have some candy in there. And speaking of candy, we'll come down to this shelf. This big miscellaneous box, we got some gumballs. I got candy cups. Uh, if I ever wanna, I've only sold candy cups twice too. I haven't really gotten into that regularly. I have other work, other jobs to do. Anyway, you can tell, mouth coils. Mouth coils are for ma magic or for clowning. They're really fun. Watch a video or two on those. Charger for Legenda. That's just this cord. Okay. Rubber bands. I use tons of rubber bands. I use these gumballs to stuff little 5-inch rounds ahead of time. And, boy, they come in handy when you got to make balloons fast and you're going to have these stuffed. Kids love, they say, how do you get the gumballs in there? Um, cutters, spiders, rubber bands. Again, the spiders I use with a maybe a 12-inch clear balloon and that high float. There's a video on it on how to make a spider web inside of a balloon. I'm, I'm, I bought this thinking I'd be making some videos on how to, uh, you know, some tutorials set it up in front of all the ugly stuff here and uh, whatever. Here's my business cards. Okay. Um, some extra parts of my crop and style XXL, including a place for markers. But I bought two of them, and I don't really need two marker things. Anyway, here's a tarp. Um... I have these, I want to show you these large back here on the back of that wall. If we walked around back behind the wall, you could see these large 4x4 four four boards, plywood, almost an inch thick. Anyway, I used those to make some outdoor columns that were 10, 12 feet high. And I didn't have time to paint them black. So I had this tarp. And I cut it in half, and I covered up the base of the columns, and the client was happy because they actually matched their colors, and it matched the color of the, uh, uh, anyway. Um, I got adhesives in here, okay, maybe some more high float hair bands, of course. Uh, this, I'll organize, I'll throw this back down low or behind the, it's just a base. If you want to learn how to make these, uh, you're going to need um, a small pipe to go in there, a threaded pipe to go in there. And, uh, yeah, you can make some balloon columns. Okay, like I said, down here i got all sorts of pumps. And I use this. I thought about using this for balloons. I never have gotten around to it. Water balloons. Here's a decor pump right here. Uh, 30 bucks or so. It was well worth it. I've used that a lot. It doesn't size them automatically for you. But it inflates two at once really fast. So I keep some extra things like costumes every so often. When I do a show, I'll make it interactive and I'll work in whatever. Dressing a kid in a costume, or I'll just let them all go and pick from one of these things after and they get to dress up. Sometimes they love it. Here's my clown things. Sometimes after I get my clown things out of there, I'll let the kids dress up like a clown or something. Down low, I've got an umbrella. Here's the base for it. Over here, 25 pound base for this umbrella. It is nice to put that up around my setup if I ever. And not given shade. I used to have a canopy, but I let that stand in the wind and it blew away. Anyway, it broke. <laughs> always tie your always tie your canopy down. Anyway, uh there's more flanges and more boards underneath here. Wanna get around them to it. Um I don't store them connected. So I can keep them all down there. For indoor arches, I will use these knot lamps. 
I buy them from Walmart, though, so they're not called knot lamps. They're just cheap little $8 lamps. You gotta cut them apart, cut the wire out of them. Okay, here's my inflators for both my nitrogen tank and my helium tank, which I'm sure you noticed. Okay, I'm gonna take the top off of this helium tank, I'm cranking it, okay, and you're gonna get this same look thing here. And I keep these down there for that. Now to the balloons, all right, right here. These are all 360s. That's all my 360s. Black, white, all the way down to pink and purple. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Okay. Uh, five inch rounds, plain. Five inch rounds, printed, holiday, Xmas and Halloween only. I don't know what I'm gonna put on the back of that thing, but with all those straps. I have a, uh, one of these floor pumps, but, uh, I hardly ever use it. I do a lot of mouth inflating. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I got more five inch rounds right there. Here's the majority of them. A boy side and a girl side. <laughs> Not strictly. All right. Um, two sixties. 260s, 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 260s. Three tall stacks, and then I got these. These are for my neons right here. Then I put my geos here and here. The rest of these white stackable drawers are 160s, 646s, 321s, 11 inch prints, 11 inch non prints, plain, printed, uh, link, non link. What else? Agates. Okay, I got neutral, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, divided up. Uh, three, three foot rounds. Sometimes I'll use for decor. Um, I made a giant. Anyway, it's all sorts of stuff. Bear heads. All colors, that thing's jam-packed. Also got some punch balls here. And some spirals and hearts of all sizes I got three foot hearts in there I got six inch hearts in there <laughs> and everything in between okay I totally cleared this out I used to have bags hanging from hooks okay now I just basically keep poles uh, EMT for an outdoor arch and lots of PVC a lot of it's covered in black tape this is what you'll do before you... There's videos on how to do that. Um, yeah. These... Uh, what are they called? Noodles. Pool noodles. Um, to manage a line, I will use... I haven't used those yet, but I've heard you can. I'll take a knot lamp stand, or two, or four. If I don't use four, then I'll use a couple chairs. Not my chairs. Uh, metal chairs at an event and I'll make two I'll make two long balloon chains and I'll uh, that always gets people excited I'll get there early and have kids make them make the balloon chains I'll start them and show them how to do it and they love it anyway if I don't feel like making the chains or if I don't have time I thought I could I've seen people other twisters use these noodles okay they'll string out one 260 or something down the middle of them and Hang them up like at a theater, how they have the, uh, whatever those row thingies, anyway. But they say that kids touch them and get them all nasty and blah, blah, blah. So, anyway. Um, oh, down here I got my sand. Okay, if I'm gonna make some uh, balloon bouquets, some helium bouquets, just a bunch of clusters of helium balloons to put in a corner or something okay they got to be weighted down so that's what you're going to use the sand balloons for i made some ahead of time white and silver okay don't make too many ahead because they'll break over time balloons will start to break up just like they're supposed to right and um 
the way you're gonna get sand into a into a balloon, okay, you have to have a two liter bottle. Get yourself a funnel, put some in there. You don't want it completely full, okay? Because you gotta turn it over and squeeze it. The squeezing is gonna push air and sand into the 11 inch balloon, okay? And uh, yeah, it's wonderful. You have to have this. There's really no way to get sand into a, a balloon other than that, okay? And I got some 16 by 16 bricks down here. They're about two inches thick, almost. Those suckers are heavy. I've weighted door. I've weighted ar arches with those before. They're really good. Okay, and plastic bags, white. Mostly I use black. Okay, and here's my wagon. Oh, I love my new wagon. Got this at Dick's for like 60 bucks or less. Okay. This stool, I'll take with me, throw it in my wagon every so often. Not this one, but this one. It folds up really nice and slides right in there. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed.